the temperatures tomorrow stay cold. These are your high temperatures again on Wednesday, only getting into the teens and 20s for a huge portion of the Midwest. And on Thursday, your high in Fargo is zero. It is going to be cold, 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 cold for days. Temperatures staying below freezing for quite a while here. And the wind chills now, looking at the wind chills, going down into the negative, negative 40 here in Fargo by tomorrow morning at 730 and it is staying cold. So again, this is what the number that really counts because this is what it's going to feel like when you go outside. Kim. But I'll tell you, a lot of us threatened here across the southeast. And those of you traveling, even Houston, Lafayette, over towards New Orleans, where we could get a wintry mix as well. Starting out with sleet and rain in the morning, changing to freezing rain in the afternoon. Winter storm mornings are up. Wintry mix overnight, maybe picking up an inch of snow in New Orleans. And that's where we have the winter storm mornings in effect. And includes Augusta, includes Mobile, includes Tallahassee. All right, winter storm warnings are up for this area. And again, here's where we're expecting the possibility of power outages, where you see the darker purple. Mobile, though, we could see some ice, maybe snow mixing in there as well. Three to five inches, some parts of, it looks like, uh, parts of central South Carolina and North Carolina, but interior sections may pick up five to eight, especially here in North Carolina. One to three inches possible in Montgomery, Atlanta. One to three possible around town again and parents. I know a lot of you thinking what about school? I'm sure they'll be making that call later on tonight.